morning guys, October 6, 2020. Here I got a call from a guy, he wants me to change a ball valve on a sprinkler system that's, I guess when he shuts it off it leaks by. So we're going over there to do that. And also, um, I guess he's got a toilet that uh, needs a fill valve or something from what he said. So I don't know if I'll be able to get you some footage, depends how dark it is down there. I don't believe I have a, th a three-quarter ball. I don't even know what he has there, three-quarter, one inch. I'll have to see what the situation is when I get there. I don't think I got ball valves that got a bleeder on it, or I might. I'll have to look into my stash. This morning's got a coat on today, a sweater. It's a little, it's a little nipply out this morning. It's a little nipply out this morning. you talking about? Listen. Is it bubbles? I didn't do it this time. What does it make? You usually make a little grinding noise? Yeah, it's like it is. Unless the valve's not open all the way. Let me see. How about the bubbles? What are the bubbles from? It could be it's not shutting off all the way. Sometimes the, the washer's loose in there. So you say it makes a noise? Let it, let it fill regular. Not doing that. Been doing it for, you know, a week. Hmm. That's strange. Okay. The mystery noise. Is this like a, you know, a rumbling noise? Like a rumble? Like, um, like a it could be sometimes if they don't shut off all the way, it would do that. Okay. Why don't we put a new valve in there yeah. okay. just to be safe, right? Yeah, I think it, that's a good idea. Because if it's that, making, it's fun. right when it gets to the top, when it makes the noise. Yeah, after yeah. it's like it, it fills and like a, two seconds after it's full. And it doesn't do it if I run the water in the sink. Yeah, why don't I just put it in the one like All right, let's look at the other thing you're talking about. The valve up there with the red. Okay, yeah. I could, uh... Does he have a drain outside or no? No, I don't This think is the only that. drain here? I think that's the only drain. We'd have to, we'd have to put a ball valve in a, in a drain bleeder, I guess. And you said the, the water does shut off? The water main? Okay, so it's right here. We've got a drain here, too, so... Yeah, we could do that. Okay. Shut this off and drain it and change it. All right, we'll shut it off here and have them open everything in the house for us, and then we'll drain it back. Hello? 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 Sure. Open all the faucets in the house and flush all the toilets so we could drain all the water out. Flush all the toilets? Just open all the faucets and leave them open and flush everything. Leave them open for now. Now you go there for seven months. Yeah. What do you do about this place? Uh, just rent it? No, no. We just moved here this year. And uh, my grandson still lives here because they... You gotta have someone to stay because you can't be with, you know, have it, have it like that the whole time, right? My grandson still lives here because uh, he's working from home. Well, I don't see why I can't... Uh, don't have to be right on the water. I mean, I could go inland a little bit. Yeah. You get a lot more for your money inland. 
I'm gonna make a cut here. Make a cut here. So what made you want to go to Sarasota? Just the area? Yeah, we, we looked up and down the East Coast, up and down the West Coast, and it, it seems to be like a, a lot of golf courses around here. It's a, oh, so you're into, the, you're into the golf thing. Stuff available. It's yeah. not too far from the airport. There's a direct flight from... Master to be a master plumber. Is it extra training or extra experience? Yeah, you have to. The difference between a master and a journeyman is you need a master's to run a business and hire a journeyman, and hire an apprentice. So it's basically like a business license, right? Okay. So you could have, you could hire journeyman plumbers, you could hire apprentice plumbers, you could run a business. Okay. Now you could be a journeyman. And run a business, but you can't have any apprentices working for you or other or other journeymen. You can work for yourself. So once you become a journeyman, uh, a year after that, you could go for the, the master license, which is a harder test. So it's a it's a better license. It's a test, a written test or practical. You know, roof leaders and all kinds of crazy shit. Start off working for somebody else. Huh? You start off working for somebody else? Oh, as an apprentice, you have to work for a master plumber to get your time in. How long? Four and a half, four years. Yeah. You gotta get so many hours in. It's a long, it's a long road. So. What, what do you, what do you apprentice get paid? Not much. Just a helper, right? Yeah. That's how you learn. You gotta learn. That's the best if you can. You know these these young kids. They think you know they know everything. Are you getting the apprentice working for you now? Nope, just the dog. He's got five years, he's another, another year. No, it's just, it's just me. I mean, I could I could hire a kid if I wanted, but... Less irritation if you don't have any. Yeah, sometimes, I mean, it is what it is. I got people calling me all the time looking for work, and this will shut off like that. So to bleed a couple in here. I mean, I kind of pick and choose what I do. I do little jobs like this, and I don't really, what do I need a helper for? For little stuff like this. I don't really need a helper, would I? For what? To stand here and watch me and, uh... You pay him to watch you? <laughs> well, you'd be paying him to watch me. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Three inches. I don't need a helper. Hey, all the better. Better for you, better for me. I mean, if I was doing like roughing in a new house or something like yeah, that, and yeah. I could put someone to work, and then it would be worth it for me, but I don't really do that type of work. I just do repair work. So for me, um, a helper, did you, did you I guess it would come in handy once in a while, but for the most part, I don't need it. You do repair maintenance? Well, I do like service and repair work. Uh -huh. 
people got no heat or no AC or something like that, I'll go and, you know, do that type of thing. Let me see. Hopefully I can get that in there. I think I got it wrong. Maybe. It's all in what you want to do and how you want to do it. And We just have to slaughter it now. And then you can shut this off and you have your bleeder right there. Okay? That's fine. What do you think about that deal? That's fine. What's this bed pan? What's that for? What is it? Oh, always when somebody was in the hospital. You never try it in the way because if you throw it away, you're going to need it someday. Yeah, you might need it someday. Calibration? Huh? Man of my calibration? Yeah. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You got all the right tools? Yeah, so this one was leaking by. Years ago. Huh? I'm not married. I got rid of her years ago. Oh, okay. So yeah. Best thing I ever you did. You're gonna get a place in Florida. You're gonna be the. You're gonna be the man. Oh, down there. Yeah. All the ladies be chasing. All the, know, all the old buzzards the be chasing there. me. All the widows down there. Is there a lot? Yeah. More, more widows than widows. More what? Oh yeah, all the old ladies, all the all the guys are dying off, and the old the ladies are over there, bro, huh? So a widower is a guy. A widower is a guy, and a a widow is a female. A widower. Yeah. 
I'd like to test this if I could. Maybe we could shut the else. Let's take a look out what you got outside. Maybe we could shut the outside unit off and just put water to it to test it and not go through it, you know? Okay. Let's take a look. Yeah, so it's off here. It's off here. Yeah. And after you're done, you could just unloosen this and bleed it out of here. See okay. it? Okay. That's what that's for. So this is off, so even though it leaked, it's not going to go in. We didn't need to put that bleeder downstairs because you had this. Okay. Okay. Usually they'll pressurize it from here and blow the system okay. out. It looks but like see, they got to pressurize it here. This is, no, they pressurize it from here. Oh, okay. And then they go through and they go through the system and blow all the lines out. Okay. So we could turn it on and test it. And then after I'm done, I'll just bleed it here and bleed it downstairs. Let or even just bleed it here. It's not going to go through because it's off. Okay, so just open it up so you can... Yeah, no, I'll take care of it. Okay. Check, see if I got any leaks. Valve's off outside, so I'm not going to flood the... Because it's already been winterized. This is already off, so let's go slow with it. The fill. A lot of pressure here. Outside, right? The pack of nut here on the handle. At least we wanted to check everything, make sure nothing leaks. Let's shut it off here. It's going to drip out. We could drain it downstairs also. It's off there, so it's draining here. We could drain it downstairs too. But this would be adequate just draining it here. Yeah, so this, this bleeder doesn't really have to be open, but we'll open it just to check, see if the ball valve's leaking by. Okay? okay? I got it open outside. Before the other one was dripping, remember? Yeah. So we know this ball valve is good. So it's drained outside and it's drained in here. But this was this was here just as a steaming. Um, if you if you if you put a pipe together, you don't have a way to get rid of the the steam yeah. you blow the solder out okay. so a lot of times I'll do these on repairs anyway okay. just so if there's any water in there it starts steaming it don't blow my solder out so that's a little tech tip that is it's a little I tech need, I don't need to drain that. you know if it was me I would just loosen up that one outside yeah. and leave that one loose it was loose anyway yeah. so before they turn the water on Either that or I could go tighten it before I leave. No, they'll do it when they... Just tell them to tighten up that nut before they leave, before was, they put the water it, on. Was it loose when you went out? It was a little. It was wasn't wasn't crazy tight. It was okay. yeah. It was kind of because that's how they went to, That's how they yeah. blow it out. They put the compressor against that, okay. and then they go and run run the zones 
and the air pushes all the water out of the lines. Okay. That's how they winterize it. Okay, so we're looking. just filled out because it's making noise, he's saying, so change it. change I don't think you I don't think you talked to me about it oil tank yeah you came over to the house and you told me you didn't want to change the filter because the, the oil tank was seepage in the bottom okay so someone else is going to take care of it yeah I got somebody else going to take care of it oh, where, where was the lo where were you located on the old farm. Oh, okay oh yeah across from the pond there yeah yeah okay citizens so, yeah, citizens for citizens is going to take care of that yeah I'll just let it go for now until they get up to when they're going to do it. It should be shortly. Yeah, because I won't, I won't touch that until that tank's changed because it's all leaking, you know? All right, good enough. I'm glad you called me. All right. Yeah, thank you. All right, bye-bye. Yeah, I had a leaking oil tank. He wanted me to change the filter on it. I said, I ain't touching that. you got to replace the tank. So I give him a price on changing the tank. And he's going to go with the... Citizens from Citizens, which is, you know, an elderly thing, you know? Yeah. I don't blame the guy. I mean, I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'm just going to change this fill valve. Seeing it's making noise, sometimes what happens is, right when it gets ready to shut off, they'll make, they'll make like a whistling noise or a vibration noise or a banging noise. It's, you know, yeah, vibration, I think. yeah that's probably what it is. So let's just change it. I can pull the pressure down. Yeah, it's old anyway, right? Yeah. I was just thinking about that job for that guy with his oil tank this morning, actually. Your first name is Steve, right? Yeah. Steve, what would it cost me to put a new toilet in? Here? Yeah. What's the matter with this one? I, I'd like a higher toilet. A higher toilet? Yeah, they got these higher ones now. Yeah, they got the handicap yeah. height, yeah. As you get older. Yeah, it's not as easy, huh? It's all cattywampus. Getting ready to start leaking there, see it? Yeah, that's good to retain. Yeah, no, no good. These are no longer available. They need to start making them. Too bad. I like them because they're easy to they're easy to put in and set. You s put them in there and you can set them like a quarter turn, like whatever you want. Twist them and set them and set them and forget them. You ever hear that thing? Set it and forget it. Yeah. The old see, dust it and then set it. The height. What the height you want? Boom, quarter turn, done. That's why I like them. That's the only reason why I like them. They're easy to put in and set. So what do they do? Something that's good, that's a good design, they, they stop making it. Yeah. Go figure. Story of my life. The cheaper way to do it. Story of my life. Trying, they're always trying to reinvent the wheel. You know? Yeah. They got something that works good. Now all of a sudden they're, they're coming out with all this fancy, you got some engineer guy somewhere. Yeah. Right? You figure out a... Uh, find out a, find another way to screw it all up. Yeah. Keep it simple, simple yeah, keep, keep it simple, stupid, right? Ever hear that saying? Yeah, flipping guys are... Gotta reinvent the wheel. It's like all these high efficiency boilers and shit. Same thing, right? Got, a, got nice boilers that, that work fine, and all of a sudden now they're going to try to save two, $2 a year, right? You, you work on the boilers that have like a computer... 
Yeah, if I have to. You're better off with what you got down there. Yeah. Easy to work on, less bells and whistles, less things to go wrong with it. Yeah. Right? Most of the time you get something with bells and whistles, you don't use half of them. Yeah, it's a flippin' it's joke. It's like they had the R22 refrigerant. Real good refrigerant, had a little bit of chlorine in there. Now all of a sudden they're saying, oh, it's bad for the environment. Yeah. A little bit of chlorine. Give me a flipping break. So now you, they stop producing it and they're, they're making this other stuff. Now they're going to stop making that and make something else. I mean, it's a money-making scam. Yeah. And all the stuff that they replace it with isn't as good as the original stuff. Well, so I like this because you can turn it, set it where you want it, and boom. Done. I don't know, am I complaining too much for you this morning? Well, you have a lot of water pressure here, huh? Seems like there's a lot of water pressure here. Perfect. Works. Yeah, see? Slimy. Want it good? Sure. It's a little slimy. We, we want it. I don't see no leak, so.